Hello, this is the Cambridge English Flyers Listening Practice Test 4. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. Why is the shop so busy today, Dad? All the shops will be closed tomorrow for the holiday. Everyone needs to get enough food. Everyone we know is here. Look, there's Ben. Yes, I see him. He's buying some milk for their new baby. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. And I can see the woman who works at the flower shop. Where is she? She's looking at the fruit. What is her name? I see her. Her name's Jane. I think she's going to buy some pineapples. And there's my friend Sarah from school. Which one is she? Is she the girl with the school bag? No, she's behind that girl. She's buying some chocolate. Can I buy some too, Dad? Okay, if you give some to your brother. I can see the woman from the fruit market. She's not buying fruit here, is she? Of course not. She's looking at the snacks. It looks like she's getting some biscuits. I see her. She's called May, isn't she? Yes, that's right. My piano teacher is here. Where? I don't see him. Look, he's just left. He's bought a lot of food. Yes, he has. That's a big paper bag he's carrying. Is his name Tom? No, it's Tony. Oh, yes, that's right. Who is that, looking at the vegetables? The man with the beard? No, the boy. He's buying some onions. That's Jim. He cuts our grass in the summer. Oh, yes, I remember him now. Now listen to part one again. And I can see the woman who works at the flower shop. Where is she? She's looking at the fruit. What is her name? I see her. Her name's Jane. I think she's going to buy some pineapples. And there's my friend Sarah from school. Which one is she? Is she the girl with the school bag? No, she's behind that girl. She's buying some chocolate. Can I buy some too, Dad? Okay, if you give some to your brother. I can see the woman from the fruit market. She's not buying fruit here, is she? Of course not. She's looking at the snacks. It looks like she's getting some biscuits. I see her. She's called May, isn't she? Yes, that's right. My piano teacher is here. Where? I don't see him. Look, he's just left. He's bought a lot of food. Yes, he has. That's a big paper bag he's carrying. Is his name Tom? No, it's Tony. Oh, yes, that's right. Who is that, looking at the vegetables? The man with the beard? No, the boy. He's buying some onions. That's Jim. He cuts our grass in the summer. Oh, yes. I remember him now. That is the end of part one. Part 
two. Listen and look. There is one example. Can everybody please listen now? I'd like to tell you all about the summer class. Is it going to start right after our exams finish? No, we'll take a break for a week and start on the first Monday of July. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Will we have class every day? No, not every day. It will be just Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So that's three times a week. Now let me tell you more about it, Mary, and then you can ask more questions. Sorry, Mr. Bird. That's all right. Now everybody wants to have time in the afternoon during the summer, so the class will be in the morning. It's three hours long, and we want to be done by lunchtime. So we'll start at nine in the morning and finish at twelve. That's great, Mr. Bird, because I always go swimming in the afternoon in the summer. That's nice, Mary. Swimming is good for you. Now I guess you want to know what we'll be studying this summer. Will we be studying the environment like last year, Mr. Bird? That was really interesting. I loved learning all about forests and lakes and animals last year. No, Mary, not this year. This year we want to study something new. This year the subject will be geography. We'll look at different countries and what you can see there. Okay, that sounds fun. I can't wait. Yes, hopefully it will be fun. Now, Mary, are you going to let me finish before you ask any more questions? Yes, Mr. Bird. I'm sorry. That's okay, Mary. We haven't talked about who will be teaching the class yet. Isn't it going to be you, Mr. Bird? You're my favorite teacher. Well, thank you, Mary. That's very nice of you to say, but it won't be me this year. I'm going to be helping with the basketball team this summer. This year, it will be the new teacher, Mr. Moon. He is very interested in geography, and the class will be fun. Okay, that's all. Now, has anybody got any questions? I have one, Mr. Bird. Where will the class be? Oh, I forgot to tell you that. It will be in classroom eight C. But that's the computer class, Mr. Bird. Yes. But Mr. Moon wants to use the computers to learn things about the countries. Wow, that sounds interesting. Thanks, Mr. Bird. Now listen to part two again. Will we have class every day? No, not every day. It will be just Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So that's three times a week. Now let me tell you more about it, Mary, and then you can ask more questions. Sorry, Mr. Bird. That's all right. Now everybody wants to have time in the afternoon during the summer, so the class will be in the morning. It's three hours long, and we want to be done by lunchtime. So we'll start at nine in the morning. And finish at twelve. That's great, Mr. Bird, because I always go swimming in the afternoon in the summer. That's nice, Mary. Swimming is good for you. Now I guess you want to know what we'll be studying this summer. Will we be studying the environment like last year, Mr. Bird? That was really interesting. I loved learning all about forests and lakes and animals last year. No, Mary, not this year. This year we want to study something new. This year, the subject will be geography. We'll look at different countries and what you can see there. Okay, that sounds fun. I can't wait. Yes, hopefully it will be fun. Now, Mary, are you going to let me finish before you ask any more questions? Yes, Mr. Bird. I'm sorry. That's okay, Mary. We haven't talked about who will be teaching the class yet. Isn't it going to be you, Mr. Bird? You're my favorite teacher. Well, thank you, Mary. That's very nice of you to say, but it won't be me this year. I'm going to be helping with the basketball team this summer. This year, it will be the new teacher, Mr. Moon. He is very interested in geography, and the class will be fun. Okay, that's all. Now, has anybody got any questions? I have one, Mr. Bird. Where will the class be? 
Oh, I forgot to tell you that. It will be in classroom 8C. But that's the computer class, Mr. Bird. Yes, but Mr. Moon wants to use the computers to learn things about the countries. Wow, that sounds interesting. Thanks, Mr. Bird. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Michael has cleaned his room. Where has he put everything? Michael, I see you finally cleaned your room. It looks so tidy. Where have you put everything? Well, I used to keep my basketball on the shelf, but it was always falling off onto the floor. So I tried to put it on my desk, but the same thing happened. So in the end, I put it under my bed, behind the box of clothes. Can you see the letter F? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. And I can't see your basketball shoes anywhere. Where have you put them? They're outside, near the front door. I wanted to put them in my closet, but my mum said they are too dirty to keep in my room anymore. I guess they get really dirty when I play basketball in the playground. And all your basketball magazines? Where are they? Mum said she was tired of seeing them on my bed all the time. I like to keep them there because I always lie on my bed when I read them. So my dad helped me put that shelf over the bed. I can put them there and still reach them from my bed. So I'm happy, and Mum is too. Yes, it looks much better now. What about all your CDs? What have you done with them? Well, I don't have much time to listen to them anymore because I'm so busy with school. So I gave my CD player to my sister but she can only use it until the summer, and then I'm going to take it back. My CDs are in my desk drawer, because I won't be using them right now. That's a good idea. You need to study hard for your exams right now. I guess you won't have much time for your comic books then either. No, I guess not. Also, I don't read them very much anymore. I prefer to read my basketball magazines, so I put them downstairs in the basement. I didn't want to throw them away. Maybe when my sister gets older, she'll want to read them. That's nice. So what about your rucksack? I don't see it anywhere. I need to use it every day to carry my books to school and home. I've got so much work to do getting ready for my exams. So my dad helped me with that too. Now it's on the back of my bedroom door. I put it there when I get home and it's easy to find it when I have to go to school every day. Now listen to part three again. And I can't see your basketball shoes anywhere. Where have you put them? They're outside, near the front door. I wanted to put them in my closet, but my mum said they are too dirty to keep in my room anymore. I guess they get really dirty when I play basketball in the playground. And all your basketball magazines? Where are they? Mum said she was tired of seeing them on my bed all the time. I like to keep them there because I always lie on my bed when I read them. So my dad helped me put that shelf over the bed. I can put them there and still reach them from my bed. So I'm happy, and Mum is too. Yes, it looks much better now. What about all your CDs? What have you done with them? Well, I don't have much time to listen to them anymore because I'm so busy with school. So I gave my CD player to my sister but she can only use it until the summer, and then I'm going to take it back. My CDs are in my desk drawer, because I won't be using them right now. 
That's a good idea. You need to study hard for your exams right now. I guess you won't have much time for your comic books then either. No, I guess not. Also, I don't read them very much anymore. I prefer to read my basketball magazines, so I put them downstairs in the basement. I didn't want to throw them away. Maybe when my sister gets older, she'll want to read them. That's nice. So what about your rucksack? I don't see it anywhere. I need to use it every day to carry my books to school and home. I've got so much work to do getting ready for my exams, so my dad helped me with that too. Now it's on the back of my bedroom door. I put it there when I get home, and it's easy to find it when I have to go to school every day. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. Which hotel is Mum staying in? Dad, is this the week Mum is away on her business trip? Yes, it is. She's leaving tomorrow. Is she staying at that nice hotel by the airport again? No, she's staying at a new one on this trip. Is it that big hotel near the stadium? I don't think so. She said her hotel is in the middle of a lot of huge skyscrapers. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What is special about the restaurant? Does she like her hotel? I think so. She said the restaurant in the hotel is very special. Why? Has it got a good chef? Not sure. She didn't say. Does the restaurant have a great view of the city? I don't think so. Mum said the restaurant is in the basement. She loves the breakfast there. They make yogurt every morning. That's her favourite. Two. What did Mum forget? It sounds like Mum is enjoying her trip. Yes, but she did forget to take something important. Oh no! Did she forget her laptop again? No, she remembered that. But she isn't working on Sunday, so she's going to the countryside. She remembered her rucksack, but she didn't take her sunglasses with her. I guess she can buy some new ones. Three. What will Mum do on Sunday? So, is Mum going walking in the woods on Sunday? No, and she's not going sailing on the lake this time. She's going to see some really old paintings. In a museum? No, on the walls of a famous cave. Wow, sounds great. Four. What gift will Mum bring home? Did Mum say she was going to bring me a gift? You know she always brings you something when she goes away. I hope she brings me a model, maybe a rocket or a dinosaur. She might not be able to put a model in her suitcase. She said she'd get you a DVD about rockets or dinosaurs. That would be great. Five. When will Mum be home? So, is Mum coming home on Monday morning? No, her plane doesn't leave until three o'clock in the afternoon. So I'll meet her at the airport at five o'clock. So will she be home for dinner? Yes, we should get home by six p.m. You can do your homework before she gets here. Now listen to part four again. One. What is special about the restaurant? Does she like her hotel? I think so. She said the restaurant in the hotel is very special. Why? Has it got a good chef? Not sure. She didn't say. 
Does the restaurant have a great view of the city? I don't think so. Mum said the restaurant is in the basement. She loves the breakfast there. They make yoghurt every morning. That's her favourite. Two. What did Mum forget? It sounds like Mum is enjoying her trip. Yes, but she did forget to take something important. Oh no, did she forget her laptop again? No, she remembered that. But she isn't working on Sunday, so she's going to the countryside. She remembered her rucksack, but she didn't take her sunglasses with her. I guess she can buy some new ones. Three. What will Mum do on Sunday? So, is Mum going walking in the woods on Sunday? No, and she's not going sailing on the lake this time. She's going to see some really old paintings. In a museum? No, on the walls of a famous cave. Wow, sounds great. Four. What gift will Mum bring home? Did Mum say she was going to bring me a gift? You know she always brings you something when she goes away. I hope she brings me a model, maybe a rocket or a dinosaur. She might not be able to put a model in her suitcase. She said she'd get you a DVD about rockets or dinosaurs. That would be great. Five. When will Mum be home? So, is Mum coming home on Monday morning? No, her plane doesn't leave until three o'clock in the afternoon. So I'll meet her at the airport at five o'clock. So will she be home for dinner? Yes, we should get home by six p.m. You can do your homework before she gets here. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Wow! What a great picture of a castle. But it needs some colour. Yes, it does. Can you help? Sure. What can I colour? Can you see the flag at the top? Colour it yellow. Okay. I've coloured the flag yellow. Can you see the yellow flag? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. What are those beautiful animals inside the castle? They're camels. I've never seen one before. Right. Well, colour the biggest one brown. Okay. I think that's a good colour for it. Two. What should I colour next? Well, let's see. Can you see the swans in the lake? Yes, they're very beautiful too. Colour the middle one pink. Okay, you can really see that one now. Three. OK, now it's time to write something. What shall I write? Can you see the big door? You mean the one by the bridge? Yes. Write the word castle above the door. Four. Let's do some more colouring. OK. What shall I colour? Can you see the lorry? Yes. The one with the two doors at the back. That's right. Colour the door on the left orange. OK. Four. 
five. Let's colour one last thing. OK, what should I colour? Can you see the four tall trees? Yes, they all look the same shape. Well, there's a different tree between these trees and the castle. Colour that tree red. OK, now the picture looks even better. Now listen to part five again. One. What are those beautiful animals inside the castle? They're camels. I've never seen one before. Right. Well, colour the biggest one brown. OK, I think that's a good colour for it. Two. What should I colour next? Well, let's see. Can you see the swans in the lake? Yes, they're very beautiful too. Colour the middle one pink. OK, you can really see that one now. Three. OK, now it's time to write something. What shall I write? Can you see the big door? You mean the one by the bridge? Yes. Write the word castle above the door. Four. Let's do some more colouring. OK, what shall I colour? Can you see the lorry? Yes, the one with the two doors at the back. That's right. Colour the door on the left orange. OK. Five. Let's colour one last thing. OK, what should I colour? Can you see the four tall trees? Yes, they all look the same shape. Well, there's a different tree between these trees and the castle. Colour that tree red. OK, now the picture looks even better. That is the end of the flyers listening test.